Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Bob, CEO and founder of Crypto Icon Media, and you are watching Crypto Icon, a show where I talk about everything around crypto, Web3, and blockchain technology. So, today we will take a look at some of major crypto news and some hot updates. But please note that I'm not a financial advisor, it is just for information and entertainment purpose. So, let's go for it. But before that, I'm just going to talk about current market price. So, today's cryptocurrency price by market cap. The global crypto market cap is $1.2 trillion, which is 2.10% increase over the last day. The total crypto market volume over the last 24 hours is $43.42 billion, which makes a 8.34% decrease. The total volume in DeFi is currently $2.79 billion, which is 6.42% of the total crypto market 24 hour volume. The volume of all stable coin is now $40.37 billion, which is 92.98% of the total crypto market 24 hour volume. Bitcoin dominance is currently 50.18%, an increase of 0.37% over the day. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry for that. Okay, so let me scroll it down. And today's Bitcoin price is <clears throat> 30,000 sorry it's a $30,882 and Ethereum price is $1,900 BNB price is $245 <clears throat> and let's go for today's first story and okay all right so this story is coming up from cryptonews.com so I would like to give this credit to crypto news and the story says Bitmax CEO suggests crypto exchange should eliminate internal market makers. Here is why. Bitmax CEO Stephen Lutz has stated that crypto exchange do not need to run internal market makers after it was revealed crypto.com has internal trading teams uh, that trade crypto. The revelation raised concern about a potential con conflict of interest at crypto.com. An interview with the blocklets opposed the idea of internal market making teams. The CEO said that exchange that make money from proprietary trading should buy now have let go of their internal market making teams. Crypto.com internal trading team raises concern. A Financial Times report revealed that the Singapore subsidiary of Crypto.com runs an internal proprietary trading and market making team that trades crypto on behalf of the exchange however crypto.com justified the team's action saying that they treated it the same way as any other third party the team exists of facilitate tight spreads and efficient markets on its platform the exchange added a spokesperson from crypto.com at the time said that the trading team ensured that the exchange remains risk natural by hedging these uh, positions on a number of winners including the crypto.com exchange crypto.com does not rely on such internal trading as a source of revenue the spokesperson added however let's opened that there are enough stfs uh, out there and drop shops that can perform the function of proprietary trading and market maker teams. Bitmax faced similar allegations of running an internal trading team to make profit years ago. Year ago. However, Lutz clarified that the separate legal entity named Arrakis Capita now serves a very limited role for Bitmax. Arrakis, which used to serve as an internal market maker for Bitmax, is now technologically and organizationally separated, spread uh, from the derivative exchange, according to the CEO. And let's go for second story. And this story is coming up from uh, Daily Coin. So I would like to give this credit to Daily, Daily Coin. And the story says Jerome, Jerome Powell stable coins form of money requiring oversight. 
U.S. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell delivered significant message regarding a regulatory landscape of payment stable coin, unequivocally classifying them as a distinct from of form of money that necessitates rigorous oversight from central bank. Bringing a stable coin into the regulatory fold, this pivotal statement was made in response to a Congresswoman Maxine Water thought pro provoking inquiry during a recent hearing held on June 21st. Waters acknowledging the growing permissions of stablecoin as a preferred payment method said clarification on whether the Federal Reserve consider these digital assets to fall under its regulatory preview. Furthermore, she advocated for a comprehensive regulatory framework that applies equally the traditional banking institutions and non-bank entity involved in currency transactions or payment processing. And let's go for third story. And this story is coming up from Cointelegraph. So I would like to give this credit to Cointelegraph. And the story says BlackRock Bitcoin spot ETF node unlikely in near term QCP capital. Bitcoin stop uh, spot ETFs face a brick wall at least for the time being from SEC Chair Gary Yansler new research uh, concludes. Bitcoin is unlikely to see its first spot price exchange rated fund in the United States soon. That is the opinion of trading firm QCP Capital which in its June 22 market update warned about spot ETF uh, prospects. SEC Gansler presents Bitcoin ETF roadblock. The Bitcoin $30,809 price has gained more than 20% since BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager, applied to list a US spot Bitcoin ETF. This would be the first of its kind as all such spot ETF applications have been rejected so far by the US regulator responsible for approving ETFs the Securities and Exchange Commission. While institutional investment in the Bitcoin space is uh, destined to increase QCP says uh, the current makeup of the SEC means that spot ETFs getting the go-ahead remains unlikely. The picture is uh, complicated by current SEC Gary Gansler under whose leadership the body delivered lawsuit against major crypto exchange Binance and Coinbase. However, with Gensler as head of the SEC, we are not confident of the actual ETF approval happening in the near-term QCP rod in the update. And let's go for last story and this story is coming up from Blockworks. So I would like to give this credit to Blockworks. And the story says a stake ETH uh, hits 20 million milestone doubling since the start of year. $38 billion is currently being used to stake ETH. Ethereum has reached another milestone with over 23.5 million ETH deposit for staking. Staking is the process of locking up a cryptocurrency in a proof of stake blockchain to contribute to network security and earn rewards. Similar, the, similar to deposit cash into high yield accounts, a big bank's staking enables tokens holders to earn passive income on their asset without having to sell or trade them. The more people who stake, the more secure the blockchain becomes. ETH price is heavily dependent on its value against the US dollar in November 21 sorry it's never in November 2021 when the price of ETH reached an all-time high of $4,400 there had only been 8.2 million stake ETH which is roughly around uh, it's roughly 
15 billion dollar locked in the network currently ATH price at 1880 dollar over 38 billion dollar is being used to secure the network although validator have had the opportunity opportunity to stake ATH since the Ethereum merge in September last year is taking did not grow dramatically in popularity until the Chappella upgrade which enable withdrawals. There has been a net inflow of 3.6 million stake ATH which is around 6.9 billion dollar following the Shanghai upgrade showing that interest in the Ethereum blockchain has remained at the at an all-time high the total circulating supply of ether is currently at 1000 it's 120.2 million eth and stake eth make up roughly 19.4 percent of all the ether on chain that is equivalent to roughly 6.4 percent of bitcoin's market capitalization fully staked in ethereum in fact stake eth is becoming up so popular that the raw number of eth staked on the ethereum blockchain is about to surpass the total amount of ether that is kept on all cryptocurrency exchange and guys this is the <clears throat> Guys, this is the end of the story today. If you like the content of this video, please give me a thumbs up and press the subscribe button. Also, press the notification bell icon so you will receive more content like this every day. And don't forget to check out our official link of major crypto platform in the description of this video. And I would love to hear your feedback and suggestions, so do comment your thoughts below. And please share this video with your friends on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Bob Ashish, and also our crypto icon media to learn more about our company. And let me talk about what exactly we do. Crypto Icon Media is a full service interactive media agency, digital marketing, social media, and branding. And guys, if you are listening to this content on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or any other podcast platform, then do hop on our YouTube channel for the real action. And guys, if you want to get 100 USDT, so get what world biggest crypto exchange Binance and deposit more than $50 into your Binance account, and we will both get 100 USDT as a cashback voucher. Thank you once again. Have a great day. Please like this video. Please subscribe to this channel. And please support us so that we will be able to find out good content for you guys. Thank you. Have a great day.